Improper cable terminals installation can put your entire electrical system at risk. Watch this video to learn the safe UL486A486B compliant installation process. This video will show you how to properly crimp and connect terminals according to UL standards. But why should you listen to us? At Axis, thousands of cable terminals and connectors are manufactured and supplied daily. Each of them undergoes rigorous electrical and mechanical tests in accordance with IEC 61238 and UL 486A486B standards. Note, before starting, please ensure that you use proper tools, procedures, and personal protective equipment to avoid injury. Also, kindly follow these do's and don'ts suggested by UL 486A 486B. Accessories required for proper installation. Wire brush. Marker. Oxide inhibiting compound for aluminum terminals only. Apart from these accessories, you'll also need the following tools. Cable insulation stripper. Crimping tools and dies. And measuring tape. Finally, let us look at the correct procedure for installing a single hole cable terminal. Prerequisites. Choose the crimping tool and dies with the exact dimensions recommended by the cable terminal manufacturer. This can be done by checking the markings on the connector or from the labels on the packages. Cable Preparation Step 1. Measure the distance of the insertion depth of the terminal to be used. In this case, the strip length will be the barrel length plus 6 millimeters. Step 2. Once measured, mark the distance on the cable using a marker. Step 3. Using a suitable stripper, cut and remove the cable insulation, leaving sufficient extra allowances, approximately 3 mm to 5 mm. Step 4. Clean or brush the surface of the conductor using a wire brush to remove any oxidation. Step 5. Apply oxide inhibiting compound recommended for aluminum on the cable strands. Note, Axis aluminum cable terminals are supplied with factory-filled oxide-inhibiting compounds. Try using a manually operated hydraulic crimping tool. Step 1. Insert the cable or conductor into the barrel of the cable terminal. Step 2. Use the crimping tools and dies for the crimping process as specified in the instruction sheet. Step 3. Insert and place the dies correctly. Step 4. Complete the crimping process as shown. Note, once the crimping is done, ensure that the excess material is removed and the surfaces of the connection are clean to avoid resistance and corrosion. Congratulations, you have now successfully crimped your single hole cable terminal using the hydraulic crimping tool. The process for two hole cable terminal and connector is the same. I hope you have a clear understanding of crimping terminals and connectors. At Access, we have a team of 50 plus engineers to design and support your project needs for terminals and connectors, earthing and lighting protection, and many more. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on testing, insulation, and other electrical engineering topics. Before moving to any other video, please know that to establish reliable and durable electrical connections, cable terminals need to be of high quality. But how do you ensure quality for terminals? Here's a video showing five types of terminals test as per IEC 61238 UL 486A 486B.